Hi everybody, my name is Juju and today we have another workout with Organ Cheer. Um, everybody say hello. We're all super excited to be working out together and with you and we have a great workout planned today. Um, for day six of our workouts, we have five different blocks that we are doing and in the blocks there are two different exercises that we'll be completing. So I'm gonna be showing the two exercises that we have for the blocks at every break, every one minute break. So for block one, we have two exercises. I'm gonna go ahead and show them. Um, for number, I mean for A, we have a lateral knee crunch. So you're gonna go, you're gonna step hop to the one side, crunch in, touch your elbows to your knee, bring it out, keep your arms up, crunch into the other side, bring it up. So it should go pretty fast and you should feel this in your abdominals, and your obliques. So that's A. And then for B, we have a tap down lateral shuffle. So for both of these movements, we're gonna be moving side to side. So I pair the exercises up to complement each other. Um, so you're gonna go ahead, put your arms up again. We have a lateral shuffle, side to side, just tap them down. Nice quick movement. Same thing, but your bend over. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay, cool. And the way that the timing goes is we have four sets for each block. So for set one, you have 60 seconds A and B. Set two drops the time down by 15 seconds. So we're in 45 seconds A and B. Set three, 30 seconds A and B. Set four, 15 seconds is the shortest one, A and B. You have no break in between each set, but you will have a one minute break into the next block. Does that timing sound good for everybody? Okay, cool. It's gonna be tiring, our heart rates are gonna be up. It's gonna be super fun, we're gonna get sweaty, get those endorphins up. Happy Friday. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we got one minute for A and B, lateral knee crunch. I will let you know when you're three seconds in to the next exercise. Alrighty. We're gonna go ahead and get started. In three, two, one. Here we go. Lateral knee crunch. You can take this exercise as fast or as slow as you want. You should just feel it in your abdominals. Thirty more seconds, everybody. Good job. Keep breathing. I know the minute feels long, but the next round will feel so short. In three, Two, one, right into lateral shuffle. Touch the ground lightly with the top of your fingertips. Get a nice bend when we go side to side. Halfway. Keep it up, I know your legs are burning. It's okay. I always forget to turn my outdoor watch on. High intensity workout if you have the outdoor watch. Three, two, and one. Straight into 45 seconds of a lateral knee crunch. The A exercise is the strength and the B is the cardio. So take your time on A and really get through the whole movement. Don't cheat it out.
Inhale on the knee crunch. Exhale when you put it down. 10 seconds. Let's get into the shuffle for a second time. Three, two, one. Right into that shuffle. Allow your chest to come up between the taps so you don't hurt your lower back. We got it. If you need to slow down, that's fine. Main thing, just keep moving. Three, two, one. 30 seconds, lateral knee crunch. The time is cut in half from the first time. You can do this. Three, two, one. Lateral shuffles. Here we go. Good, you guys. Just moving your feet side to side. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. 15 seconds. Lateral knee crunch. It's your last time ever doing it. Keep your chest a little bent over. So you feel it. Three, two, one. Lateral shuffle. That one comes by fast. You get your one minute break. Let's work for it. We're almost there. Three, two, and one. Good, you guys. Block one completed. We will never do those two exercises again for the day. Good job. Get a sip of water and towel off. Okay. I'm doing better on my water today. Update, I'm at five o'clock. So I'm a little behind. Whew. Okay, while you guys are resting, I'm gonna show you block two. Are we feeling okay? Are we alive? Good, okay. Okay, block two, working those glutes today. So we got a squat to calf raise. So you have your nice steep squat. When you come up, we do a calf raise. You should feel it in your calves. I'll do it to the side. Squat all the way down. Squat up, nice and powerful. Don't let it be too lax. B is a pivot squat. So you're gonna twist your body over to the side. Squat down. Twist, squat. I'll show it from the side. So I'm going to my right, I squat down in the middle, I go to my left, squat down in the middle. So we have opposite movement happening. Do those two make sense? Yeah? Okay, cool. All right, we are over one minute. I gave you guys an extra little bit of break. So let's make this one good. Squat section, here we go. Your glutes will feel like they're on fire, but tomorrow your butt will be looking nice. Okay, here we go. Squat to calf raise in three, two, one. Timer is on, here we go. Like all the exercises we do, there is no specific tempo any exercise should be done at. Just do what feels best for you. This is your workout, 35 minutes of your day, getting a good sweat in.
Keep going. In three, two, and one. We got our squat pivots, here we go. Twist to one side, drop down to a low squat. Pace yourselves here, a minute is long. Front of your thighs should feel on fire. If they're not, you're not squatting deep enough. Deep breath from the squat. You should also feel this one in your obliques. Good, you guys. Let's go. My thighs are on fire. Whew. Okay, can you shake it out for a second, you can? I have to for a second. All right, here we go. 10 seconds. Let's get three more. Three, two, and one. Straight into squat to calf raise. Here we go. 45 seconds. At any point, if you feel like you need a rest, you can hold that squat or that calf raise a little bit longer to relieve some of that lactic acid from your thighs. Almost there. Three, two, one. Pace yourselves here. Squat pivots, here we go. Most important, just make sure you're twisting all the way to the opposite side. Getting that nice burn. I wish I could move better, my voice is too low. 15 seconds, shake it out if you need to. We got this. When it starts to burn, that's when the real work starts. In three, two, one, swap the calf raise. 30 seconds. I know some of you are probably rolling your eyes at me. I'm rolling my eyes on myself. This feels like torture. Keep going, you guys. 10 seconds. We're in the shorter rounds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. That's only going to set you back. Fifteen. You need to shake it out. This is the time. Three, two, one. Last round. Go off to calf raise. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one. Last one minute. One minute break after this. Don't give up now. Three, two, one. Good, you guys. I know that one wasn't the funnest. Whew. Raise your hand if your legs are burning. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna give myself 15 seconds and then I'm gonna demo the next two. These ones are fun. Okay, here we go. We're on the floor for these next two. Okay, block three. We got a knee strike and a shoulder tap plank jack. So for the knee strike, your foot's gonna be back here, kind of like we're about to stretch, but we're really not. You're gonna strike your knee very close to your nose, 
Bring it back. Please push your weight forward, back, forward, back. It's an explosive movement. You should feel it in your core and your shoulders. We're gonna do that. We're gonna alternate each round. So for the first round, we'll choose a left or right to do it on, and then we'll switch to the next one. And then the next one is a shoulder tap plank jack. So we're gonna be up on a plank. I'll face you guys. So jack is when we move our feet out to in. What we're doing is we're adding a shoulder tap. You're gonna get that nice shoulder burn. You're gonna also feel that in, the, in your back. If the shoulder tap is not something you wanna do or you have shoulder issues, that's totally fine. You can take it to a jack or if you need to, you can just take it out to a simple toe tap and you can still add that shoulder tap on your shoulder. This is your workout. Do the best for you. Sound good to everybody? Cool. All right. Here we go. Getting the timer. All right. Knee strikes on the ground and then shoulder tap plank jacks. Here we go. In three, two, one. This might hurt your knee, so if you have a towel or a mat, you can go ahead and use that. Hey, Juju, move your computer screen down. Oh, sorry. Here I am. Nice explosive movement when you bring your knee into your chest. We're almost there. Time's here. Here we go. 15 seconds. Get ready for our tap, shoulder tap, plank jacks coming up next. In three, two, one, here we go. This one is going to feel long, so really pace yourself. Do whatever modifications you need to finish it out. 20 seconds in. And my shoulders are on absolute fire. I'm taking the shoulder tap out just for a second. All right, 25. If you need to shake out your shoulders for a second, that's fine. Knee strikes coming up next in three, two, one. Here we go. Do whatever leg you didn't do the last time. Forty-five seconds.
I know we're starting to feel it. We can do this. We've done much harder things than this. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. Shoulder top plank jacks. 30 seconds. Here we go. Breathe. You guys, there is literally sweat dripping into my eyeball. I also have no more eyelashes, so there's that. You too? Yeah, I feel that. Okay, good job, you guys. Yeah, see? Where are they? We don't know. Um, okay, we only got two more blocks. Are we doing okay? Yeah? We're sweaty, I'm so sweaty. Okay, block four, we have a plank to reach and then a rocket jump. This is the plank to the reach, but I couldn't figure out what type of burpee that was called again. I think it's called the UK burpee, right? Okay, so we got a UK burpee, also known as a plank to reach. Um, in my book, my timer's still going off. Okay, perfect. Okay, here we go. So we got a plank. Wait, let me move my computer screen down so you guys can see me. Okay, so you got a plank. You're gonna reach all the way, lifting your whole abdominal. Plank to reach, aka UK burpee. Rocket jump is our cardio. So you should keep your arms high, just like the plank to reach. Then you're just gonna jump if you want. You can point your toes like ballet class, or you can keep them flexed, whatever works for you. Y'all know I'm going to point my toes. So whatever you feel like you get the best work in, just do that. Do those make sense to everybody? Cool. Plank to reach, strengthen your abdominals. Rocket jump is our cardio. Give it your all. Pace yourselves. Don't burn yourself out right in that 60 seconds. High five the person next to you. We got this. We're in this together. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and get the timer. All right. Here we go. UK burpee slash plank to reach in three, two, one. Here we go. Reach all the way to the sky. You can take that one nice and slow. Keep going, y'all. Just fixing my computer. Thirty seconds. In three, two, one. Rocket jump, you need to put your hands behind your head or keep them up. You can think about it like you're jumping on a jump rope. Just nice light jumps. Doesn't need to be too crazy on the vertical. I 
take it back. My toes are not planted. Nice and light on the ball of your toes. Try to go toe ball heel. 20 seconds. Yes, you guys. Really elongate your abdominal and your spine. Let me do that reach. Three, two, one. Back to our rocket jump. Here we go. We're not tired. We got this. We're going to eat dinner after this. That worked for it. Here we go. 20 seconds. Ten. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Three, two, one, 15 seconds. Squat to reach, I mean plank to reach, here we go. 30 seconds of work left. Then you get your break. falling out on me. Look. Look everybody. Look at Brody's helmet. Oh my god. He looks so cute. Look at that mohawk. Yeah. I love it. Alright you guys, I know this circuit is not the easiest because we go back, back and forth back to back, very little breaks, but you guys are killing it. Just think about it, this is much better than running a mile. So we got one more block left, we're gonna kill it. This is our cardio slash finisher, so it will probably be the most tiring. Just prepare yourselves for that. But we got it, something we can't do. Okay, A, we got alternating side bounds. We've done this before. So it's kind of like um, skaters, but instead you're gonna touch the ground and tap it. I don't know if you could see that. So it's like you're glissading or you're jumping over a puddle, whatever you can visualize better. And you tap the ground 
with your left hand. If you're going to the right, when we go to the left, we tap with our right hand. You take it as slow and fast as you want. And if you can't balance, it's okay to tap the foot on the ground. Most importantly, don't let your knee go out or in. Keep it right over that ankle. And then B, we got an icky shuffle. I know people like this one the last time we did it, so I added it. It's kind of fun. Um, kind of feels like we're doing dance, but not really. So for an icky shuffle, let me shut it so you can see my feet. You're gonna go to the side so you can step out, in, bring it up. Out, in, bring it up. So it's just bringing your knee into your chest. And if you want, you can put a little groove into it. Whatever makes you feel better. I like to have my ponytail go side to side. It's more fun that way. But that one, you can pick up the pace uh, pretty fast for that one. So really challenge yourself. Don't let yourself get too lax or relax on the knee shuffle. Does that all make sense to everybody? Yeah? Okay, cool. Um, last block. We got this, we're gonna kill it. We literally have six minutes of work left and then we're out of here. And then we can enjoy our Friday nights in the house. Okay, here we go. I'm getting my timer ready. Ready to rock and roll. Alternating side bounds. Three, two, one. Here we go. This movement isn't made to go too speedy. Sorry, no, I wasn't talking to you. Please get off the phone. My sorry just likes to turn off. 30 seconds, y'all. Here we go. My balance isn't the best. Make sure we're holding our core. That will help keep our balance a little bit better. Or if you want, you can take out the tap and just go side to side. Three, two, one. Icky shuffles, here we go. Side, side, up, side, side, up. I'll let you know in the last 10 seconds of this one, so we can pick up our pace. But just pace yourselves at a medium speed tempo here. You still got 35 seconds of work. Oh, 
shorter rounds. We're almost there. Two more minutes of work.